Hello everybody, good afternoon and welcome to That's Football. I'm Mark Goldbridge and it's the big one. It's Chelsea against Manchester City in the Premier League at Stamford Bridge. We've also got all the two o'clock series. Oh, I love the Bourne films. I want to watch them all again. They're breaking away, Mr. Lister, down the right-hand side. It's a 4v4. It could be a 4v5 for Chelsea. What's he going to do, Palmer? He's got stuck. He's been greedy and he's blown it, but he's got it back. He's got it back. He plays a little one-two with Gallagher. Akanji gets the head on it. Oh, and Edison's quickly off his line. I think he's given a penalty. Oh my God. Another soft penalty for City again. Another soft penalty for City again. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Every week it's the same. They've had, I tell you what, they've had more presence than Santa this year. It's incredible. Absolutely pen incredible. If they give a penalty for this, and then they didn't give a foul on... Oh, they're looking for another one now. Well, there's a foul on... There's a foul on Reese James before that. There's a foul on Reese James before that. So, they can't give a penalty here because there's a foul on Reese James before. He fouls Reese James. So, they've got to give a foul. Oh my God, another game ruined by VAR. Clip me up because this league's out of control. There's a foul on Reese James before the cross and then they've gone searching for another fucking foul. This is not a foul. That is not a foul. That is no worse than what Joel Linton did to Gabrielle last week and they're giving penalties in games like this. Absolutely incredible. Our game's in the fucking mud. Absolutely disgusting. When are you going to stand up and do something about this? When are we going to stop listening to Jamie Carragher, Michael Owen and Gary Neville talking nonsense? This is a disgrace. It's another game ruined by VAR. Absolute joke. Reese James is fouled. He's fouled before the cross comes in. How has that been given? Absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. Another game ruined in the favour of a team that doesn't need help. They're the best team in the fucking world and you're helping them. Absolute joke. It's disgusting. And, and here he comes, Haaland. Bottom corner. It's, I tell you what, it makes you, want to, it makes you want to throw up. It really makes you want to throw up. How Manchester City fans and players can be fisting the air like they've won, they're winning anything. I'm disgusted by this this season. The Fulham offside, goal given. The Hoyland foul on, Roy, uh, on, on Rodri a couple of weeks ago, penalty. That one, penalty. Kovacic should have been sent off twice. It's just, it's just, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible how VAR is helping Man City this season. Did they not see the league last year? 115 charges, won the treble last year, and they're helping Man City win things. Absolutely incredible. And the, what, what I find funny is, Haaland's never getting this ball. He's never getting on the end of that cross. Never getting on the end of that cross in a million years. He's never getting on the end of it. Poch can't believe it. Rhys James is fouled before it. Haaland's holding on to Cucurella's shirt before it. And he's never getting on the end of it. It's It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible at this point. Jack says Haaland was holding the defender, which made uh, him get an absolute disgrace. Jack, all I said, and I'm sure everybody agreed, at the start of this game was, we don't want VAR ruining this game. And lo and behold, game of the week again, they fucked it up. Who's the dickhead on VAR? Because uh, we need to know, who's on VAR again? Who is on VAR? Don't understand how this happens every single week. Haaland starts it anyway. And Anthony Taylor refereeing a Premier League game. It's a great free kick and it's a great save by Edison. Uh, it's going in the top corner. and he's... This is the thing about Man City. They're a fantastic side. They don't need help. In the Manchester derby, they get the softest penalty you can believe. In, in this Chelsea game, another soft penalty. It's almost like VAR when the email goes out. P.S. Make sure when City play, you look for absolutely everything. Don't have to do it with anyone else. 
So the Doku nudge isn't a foul, but the Cucurella is a clear foul. Literal contradiction in the same decision, says David. Get in! Chelsea have scored! Fuck off! Injustice! Thiago Silva, the legend of the game. 1-1. That's justice. Put that in your pipe. I'd go up to Anthony Taylor and I'd kiss his forehead and I'd go, Mwah! Have that, you bloody arsehole. Get in! I don't even like Chelsea, but that's justice. 1-1. Come on! What do you think about that, Anthony Taylor? What do you think about that, VAR? Get in. Absolutely fantastic. This is about fair football fair play here. This is the fans against... This isn't Man City against Chelsea. This is fans against VAR. That is pure justice jam on toast. It's a great header by Thiago Silva. What a player he is. What a player he is. And it's 1-1. And Haaland's trying to kick him in the air anyway. Give a penalty as well. The game's broken, says Mank in Chicago. Um, it's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Should be like rugby. The teams get a chance to use VAR. They use it and it's right. They keep the chance. They get it wrong. They lose the chances. Don't mind me. Look at Harlan trying to kick him as well as he headed it. But Manchester City this season, I can't even think of one bad decision they've had. Get in! It's 2-1! It's Raheem Sterling! Put that in your pipe and smoke it! Defensive errors at the back by Manchester City. Rhys James picks it up. Not literally. That would be a handball. Crosses it across the face of goal. And Raheem Sterling against his former club will not score an easier goal against his former club if he plays till he's 29, which he already is already. That's a fantastic goal for Chelsea. It's defensive disarray from Manchester City. It's just a long, hopeful ball that they don't deal with. It finds its way to Palmer who tries to play in Reese James. I think Vardiel gets it stuck under his feet. That's not going to be offside. It can't be offside because there's a defender in the way. It's 2-1. I think it's Vardiel. Look, he just gets stuck under his feet. Carl Walker's going for an offside. I can't see how that is offside unless I'm an idiot because the ball... Yeah, Raheem Sterling's behind the goalkeeper and behind Vardiel. So it's onside. It has to be a goal. 2-1. Mark, you're the goat, says ASMR. Oh, hold on a minute. Chelsea into Jackson. He's got to go. What are you doing, mate? You're playing like Michael Jackson. He's got his feet going. Thriller. Just pass it to your right. Oh, my God. If City go and score here, it's they are going to score here. What a save by Sanchez. My God. That save's brilliant. Haaland's through. Bullet shot with his left foot. Sanchez gets down low with his right hand. Keeps it out. This game's end-to-end -end at the moment. Oh, my God. Subscribe, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. You're on That's Football. Fantastic community. What a cross. What a goal. 2-2. Two -two. I mean, that's just shocking defending. Absolutely shocking defending from Chelsea. For all the players they've got in their team there. How, how, how are you conceding a goal like that? I'm disappointed by that. Absolutely shit defending from Chelsea. What are they doing? Yeah, it's just it's just it's a lovely cross. You know, it's 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 an absolutely brilliant cross by Bernardo Silva and Akanji ain't gonna miss from there. Yeah, just a really good header. You can't argue with that. Of course not. Uh, they've got a bit of a breakaway though. Man City here, a four v three. Foden, Alvarez. Goal. 3-2. That's how that's how you uh that's how you break away in a 4v3. We saw it with Luton last week. We've just seen it with Man City there. That's how you do it. Break away like that. I think it's Alvarez or Haaland who've scored right at the start of the second half. Chelsea defensively are a problem, aren't they? And uh, they've contributed to it themselves here. Um it's it's Haaland who actually takes it in. De Sarsi, um is out of position, isn't he? Is it De Sarsi out of position? And then Foden plays it into Alvarez. Yeah, that's a goal. There's no problem with that. Is there any bit? Is it any any part of the hand helping that go in? Uh, uh, Anthony Taylor has lost the prop. Yeah, it's a legitimate goal. There's nothing nothing about that. Here is Mudrick. Nice little ball into Conor Gallagher. He's got to shoot from there. Good save. Goal! Oh, I've jinx I think he's offside. I think he might be offside. Jackson scored! Jackson scored! 
I've jinxed him on Twitter and he's bloody scored. I've said, I've called him a passenger. He's just took hold of the wheel. It's 3-3. I get I panic with goals like this. He looked to me like he might have been in an offside position. I I hold judgment here. I hold judgment here. They seem happy. Let's watch. It's good play by Chelsea. Conor Gallagher starts it off. Fantastic ball. Then watch Conor Gallagher's movement here. Mudrick is there. Watch Conor Gallagher. It's all about his movement. He drives into the space with the first touch. Hits the shot. He's onside. He's onside. Yeah. Great goal. 3-3. Three, three. Goal. Miles onside. He's got it now. He's got to pass it. He's got to pass it. Gusto. I've got him in the fancy Premier League. You twat. What a twat. That was my moment. That was my bloody moment. Oh. Oh. I've got him in my fancy Premier League team. He's fucking one on one. And he's put it over the bar. Can't believe it. Oh, I forget it. I quit. I quit. Goal. Fucking hell. Who scored that? They don't. It's Rodri again, isn't it? They just don't need this. The amount of times this happens with City. Rodri, absolute banger. You can't compete against this. You cannot compete against this. It's just unbelievable. Chelsea have scored three goals against them. And they've still come out with this. They're just so, This is why people get annoyed by the lack of action with 115 charges. This is why people get annoyed when they get soft penalties and goals given that are offside. Because they don't need any help. They just don't need any... Oh, it's deflected as well. I thought he'd hit it in. It's deflected off Thiago Silva. But they, but they don't need any help. They don't need any help. They're that good. They don't need any help. Penalty! He's given it! Penalty to Chelsea! He's given a penalty. It is a penalty as well. Shut up, Grealish. Shut up, Ruben. Definitely a penalty to me. No messing around. He's got that right. They've got to score it, though. They've got to score it. Liverpool fans. Arsenal fans. Yeah, it's a penalty. Because he's won the ball, but then the follow-through has took him out. Look, he controls it. Good tackle by Ruben Day. Oh, I don't know. Well, it's a penalty anyway. He takes him out. 100% penalty. You know, there's absolutely no debate on this. <sighs> I don't know why I'm nervous. Well, it's because I, I want a title race. I don't want the... Uh... Oh, what a penalty. We shouldn't have doubted him. He's loving it. He's gone like that. He's got the balance. And that is a cracking goal. It's a cracking penalty the way he's took it. There's still four minutes to go here. There could be another twist in the tail. Chelsea deserve a point here today. 100% deserve a point today. For all. Game of the season. No doubts. No doubts. Easy. Game of the season. No doubt. Magnificent entertainment. This is what we want from football. We don't want fucking VAR. Lovely penalty as well. Reminds me of me on my...